Forex Nelson is back with another trade. I sold the pound yen, six lots. My trigger was right on this red candle right here. As you look down at the bottom here, you just count the red. One, two, three, four, five out of six. And up here, we're at an extreme upper level. We're below the trigger line. We're in a cell area. From here up is a cell area. And we got the arrow. So that was uh, five at the bottom, six, seven, eight. We certainly got enough triggers, only need five out of ten. I noticed uh, all the end pairs, not all of them, um, but the four that I have pulled up here they're all in the extreme and they're all doing exactly the same thing dollar yen my favorite is the pound yen it gives me the most pips ADR is 100, 145 does the most so we'll see how the trade goes 20 pip target down here 20 pip oh, I'm gonna adjust that I don't need it that high just a couple of pips above the swing. Go to about here. Let's see what my uh, stop is at the moment. 12 pips. I can live with that for a 20 pip target. So I'll manage it as it's moving along. We'll see how it goes. I'll report back when I have more results. Forex Nelson is back. The trade was finished in the middle of the night as I was sleeping. Originally got in right where this little arrow is here. My trigger was on this red candle. If you remember there was five triggers at the bottom. <clears throat> Six, seven, eight, which was more than enough to take the trade. Stop was about 12 or 13 pips and 20 pip target like I said in the middle of the night as I was sleeping completed at um, that was 1 o'clock in the morning I also noticed from the higher time frames say f example for the one hour price is going up here see price is going up and the bars are going down so that's negative divergence you can also see it on the 30 minutes price up and the bars going down and then again on the 15 minutes a little bit uh, you can still see it price going up and the bars are this section here is going down negative divergence and as I said, I was aiming for 20 pips with a, I believe it was a 13 pip stop. I did six lots down here at the bottom. I let them all run as I was sleeping. I couldn't manage it like many times that I do. I ended up making $1,498. Turned out to be another great trade using the pip trigger. I love it for day trading, especially when the market opens. There's movement. And today is non-farm payroll, so there should be a lot of action around 8.30 this morning for the non-farm payroll. Okay, until the next trade, happy trading everybody. Till next time, bye for now. And one more thing I forgot to mention, if you wanted to get it back in touch with me, just go to my YouTube channel and click on the About right here, About, and you can either call me, email me, or Skype me, and I'll show you a lot more, uh, t give you a lot more tips and tricks on 
how the pip trigger uh, works and how to trade successfully with the um, within the forex market okay take care bye for again for now